Jack. The word Jack is used as a name for a man, but it's also used for many objects, and it's a popular name in American and British culture. This is the Jack of Diamonds. It has almost the same value as a queen or a king in a deck of cards. He uses a jack to lift his car off the ground. A phone jack is used to connect a phone to a phone line. Children play jacks with a rubber ball and metal pieces. A jack-in-the-box is a popular toy for small children. A jackknife is a useful tool to carry in your pocket. Before Halloween, many people carve pumpkins to make jack-o'-lanterns. Jack Frost comes when the air temperatures go below freezing. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. The story of Jack and the Beanstalk is a well-known fairy tale. Jacket A jacket is a light outer covering of clothing worn when it's cool outside. The difference between a jacket and a coat is a jacket is lighter, but sometimes these two words are used in exactly the same way. Sometimes I wear a jacket in the classroom. A jacket is more casual than a suit coat. She wears a jacket when it's cool outside. A jean jacket is a popular choice of clothing for the spring or the fall. A life jacket can help keep you safe when you are on a boat or in the water. This is also called a life vest. A yellow jacket is a type of wasp that will sting you if you bother it. Jail A jail is a place where people go if they are suspected of or guilty of breaking the law. Jails in the United States are usually connected to a police station or a courthouse. But there are many larger jails where criminals go before or after a trial. A jail is not the same thing as a prison. Prisons are used for long-term punishment. A jail is usually used for a short or temporary stay. A person who goes to jail is called a prisoner or an inmate. A person who is in prison wears a prison uniform. Before a trial to determine guilt or innocence, a person in jail is called a suspect or a detainee. The room where people live is called a cell. This is a jail cell. Prisoners are watched by guards or police officers. Instead of saying a person is in jail or in prison, you can also say behind bars.
He's behind bars for stealing a car. Jam. In the first set of sentences, the word jam means that something or someone is unable to move. Or it can mean that something prevents or limits movement. There was a big traffic jam following the accident. My photocopier used to get jammed all the time, so we got a new one. There's a paper jam in the photocopier. Signals to and from cell phones are sometimes jammed by tall buildings. The stores are often jammed with shoppers after Thanksgiving and before Christmas. Tokyo is known for having jammed subway cars. You shouldn't try to jam too much into your suitcase when you go on a trip. Try to leave a little space. Musicians who get together to play music. Jam. The jam session lasted until 2 in the morning. Alan would like to learn how to jam with other musicians who play the blues. Let's get together and jam sometime. Jam is also something that you can eat in the form of spreadable fruit. It's similar to marmalade or jelly. Joey loves strawberry jam on toast. Sarah doesn't like raspberry jam because of all the seeds in it. Jar. A jar is a glass container. Certain food and medical items are stored or sold in jars. Pickles are sold in a jar. I went to the store to buy a jar of pickles. Cookies are stored in a jar to keep them fresh. This boy was caught with his hands in the cookie jar. Doctors keep medical supplies in jars. A jar helps keep these tongue depressors sterile. Ancient people used jars to store food and other perishable items. Archaeologists find broken jars and pottery when they investigate ancient sites where people once lived thousands of years ago. The word jar can also be used as an adjective and as a verb when something creates discomfort or something is shaken. That was a jarring experience. A dentist's drill makes a jarring sound. The constant vibration of the lawnmower engine jarred a screw loose from the machine. Jaw. The part of the mouth that opens and closes is called the jaw. This is what a lower jawbone looks like. Jay Leno is a late-night talk show host in the United States who is well known for having a large jaw. It's one of his most prominent features. 
when a large toothed animal opens its mouth wide enough to show its teeth and the enormous power of the mouth, we often use the word jaws. The alligator opened its jaws before it clamped down on an unsuspecting animal. The jaws of a rhinoceros can crush just about anything that goes between them. In the 1970s, a popular movie about a great white shark scared a lot of people from going into the water. The title of the movie was Jaws. Jealous. A person who wants what another person has might be jealous. Jimmy started to feel a little jealous of his baby sister, who suddenly got more attention from his parents than he did. I heard you're going on vacation to Hawaii. I'm so jealous. Everyone is jealous of Sophia. She won the lottery. The word jealous is especially useful when describing possible romantic attractions that occur outside of a relationship between two people. Jennifer became very jealous when she found out that her husband, Ed, had a relationship with a coworker named Beth. Dave might feel a little jealous if he ever finds out his girlfriend is working with a guy who looks like Brad Pitt. Jennifer is a jealous wife. Dave is a jealous boyfriend. The noun form of this word is jealousy. Ultimately, Joe's feelings of jealousy towards his wife doomed their relationship. Alana decided that she wouldn't be bothered by the jealousy that other people felt about her. Jeans. The wearing of jeans is very popular. The material is almost always 100% cotton, and the color is almost always blue, although jeans can now come in a variety of colors. As jeans are washed and as they age, they fade. It's fashionable to wear faded jeans. It's also fashionable among some people to wear jeans that have holes in them. In fact, some manufacturers of jeans put holes in the jeans as a way of appealing to young people who like to wear jeans with holes or some other form of damage. When Mike gets home from work, he always changes into his jeans. Hester has a hole in her jeans, but that's okay because she likes to wear jeans with holes. Bob can't wear his favorite pair of jeans anymore because the zipper broke. Jennifer owns several different jean jackets. The company that my neighbor works for doesn't allow the wearing of jeans in the office, except on Friday, which is a casual day. Jelly. Jelly is a thick, semi-transparent substance that has a smooth texture and a high water content. We most commonly associate this word with food, but many different things can have a jelly-like appearance. 
Kids like to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch. Jordan's favorite jelly is grape. I like strawberry jelly. Do you like jelly donuts? Jelly beans are a popular form of candy. Inside the jelly bean is gelatin. Cranberry sauce has a jelly-like appearance. Some things that have the word jelly in them cannot be eaten. Jellyfish have long tentacles and sting people. Petroleum jelly is used to lubricate things. When ultrasound is used on a person to look at internal parts of the body, the technician spreads a jelly-like substance over the part of the body that is being examined. Jeopardy. 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 The word jeopardy generally means danger, or there exists the possibility for a problem. The sentences below show how it's used as a noun. Their plans to go to Europe were in jeopardy because of the weather. The bus driver put the lives of his passengers in jeopardy by texting while driving. The future of the business is now in jeopardy because of highway construction. You can alter the word order of the sentences above by changing jeopardy to a verb, jeopardize. The weather jeopardized their plans to go to Europe. The bus driver jeopardized the lives of his passengers by texting while driving. Highway construction jeopardizes the future of the business. Jerk. We use the word jerk as a noun when describing a person whose behavior is not polite. The person is rude. This is a popular word in the United States. It's usually used for men. Everyone got mad at Gerardo because he was being such a jerk towards a waitress. Some jerk threw all the trash that was in his car on the ground in the parking lot. The jerk driving behind me got too close with his car and hit my rear bumper when I suddenly stopped. Amanda always seems to go out with guys who are jerks. Why can't she find someone who's nice? Tom hates talking to his boss because his boss is a jerk. What a jerk. You can also use jerk as a verb. In this case, it means a sudden motion. The simple form is jerk. The past tense is jerked. The past participle is jerked. The car jerked forward when the driver put it into first gear. The little boy jerked something out of his sister's hands. Don't jerk your fishing pole too hard if you think a fish has taken your bait. The word jerky is an adjective. 
That was a jerky thing to do. Why did he do that? Why is Todd being so jerky to his girlfriend? Jewelry. The word jewelry is a non-count noun that is used for precious stones, such as diamonds, emeralds, and rubies. The word jewelry is also used for necklaces, rings, and earrings made of gold, silver, copper, nickel, etc. Natural items such as pearls are also considered jewelry. Felicia owns a lot of jewelry. Her jewelry is kept in a jewelry box. How much jewelry do you have? A place that sells jewelry is called a jewelry store. Both men and women wear jewelry, but women are generally more interested in jewelry than men. A single precious stone is called a jewel. This is a count noun. A diamond is a jewel. An emerald is a jewel. There are three jewels in this crown. Jinx. A jinx is kind of like a curse. When a person has a run of bad luck, he or she might claim that a jinx is to blame. To believe in a jinx is to be superstitious. If you aren't superstitious, you won't be affected by a jinx. Jimmy feels as though he has been jinxed because he's been so unlucky lately. He's afraid to leave the house because of this jinx. He believes someone jinxed him. Do you believe in jinxes? How do you get rid of a jinx? Jennifer is afraid that she's become a jinx for her favorite baseball team. Every time she attends the baseball games at their home field, they lose. She feels that she can only watch the baseball games on TV. She doesn't want to be a jinx. Jittery. A person who is jittery is nervous. Cindy feels a little jittery just before she takes a test. Elias got jittery during his job interview. A jittery group of children entered the classroom on the first day of school. Sarah feels jittery around her boss. Driving on the ice and snow makes Amina feel all jittery. When used as a noun, this word is almost always plural and it usually refers to an uncontrollable movement in which the body shakes. He's got a bad case of the jitters. Tom got the jitters. The man who just arrived at the detox center has the jitters following three days without a drink of alcohol. Jock. A jock is a person who is successful in athletic activities. This is a very popular word in the U.S. when talking about athletes, particularly athletes who excel in a wide variety of sports. 
Oscar has a reputation for being a jock. He plays basketball, football, and baseball. The jocks at our high school often sit together during lunch. Maria considers herself a jock because she's an excellent basketball player. However, she also has a very good academic record. Edward avoids the jock table in the cafeteria because the people who sit there often make fun of him. Vanessa was a jock in high school, but now she prefers to pursue her interests in art and music. For some sports, it's recommended that boys and men wear a jock strap and a cup in order to prevent injuries. Jog. Running for exercise is called jogging. A jog is slower than a run. It's not a competitive activity. He's jogging. He likes to go for a jog in the morning. Jogging is a good way to lose weight. Do you like to jog? My friend Bob jogs about three miles every other day. I used to jog, but now I ride a bike for exercise. Join. Use the verb join when a person becomes a member of something or when people come together as a group. The simple form is join. The past tense is joined. The past participle is joined. Helga joined a conversation with her classmates. Jose joined his family for lunch. Tariq has joined a soccer league and now he plays soccer on the weekends. Do you want to join a group and meet new people? Join the chat. Can I join you? Can anyone join this website? Yes, anyone can join this website to learn English. Everyone welcomed Charles, who is the newest person to join the company. The word join can also be used when two things come together or meet at some point. An intersection is a place where two streets join. Pipes are joined together in the plumbing for a home. Two pieces of wood can be joined together with nails, screws, bolts, or glue. Joint A joint is formed when two things come together and work together. The place where two bones meet is called a joint. A joint is formed when two pipes join together. A small bar or a restaurant where people come together for music and food is sometimes called a joint. A joint venture is formed when two companies decide to work together on a short-term project. Jolly. A person who is jolly is happy and laughs a lot.
The word jolly is perhaps more common in British English than in American English, but there are certain situations and characters for whom this word is used. Santa Claus is jolly. He's always in a good mood and he laughs a lot. Jolly people are fun to be around. They like to sing and have a good time. The song for He's a Jolly Good Fellow is sung when honoring a person's achievements. The Jolly Green Giant is a very large man who helps sell vegetables. He lives in Lesur, Minnesota.